while you guys were doing the intro, I literally heard a uh, you can't type say of noise that. from you can't upstairs. Say that. You can't say that, dude. Don't. I told you! I told you! What was that? I literally told you! The f was that? The f I told you I wasn't lying! Since when she heard that noise? That's a new one. I don't want to see a new one no. from the guide who's here every no. day. What the f she basically lives here. But she looked as if that's a new one? What the f Vlog update, under the under table. Under the table, vlog, up, <laughs> vlog update. We got a flat tire at McDonald's with Sam and Colby, and Molly bought a hundred chicken nugget action figures, and... <laughs> and then a, a black crow flew overhead, yeah. so the um, positive omens are very few and far between today. I did see a cool big dog. That's true. Socks are sticking to the wall. What the f is this place? <laughs> Our rat's weird. We just got to the um, like a motor. Well, it's called a motor inn. I guess it's like a. What would you call it? It's a motel. It's a motel. We got to the motel, and you can't throw that against the wall. It's not gonna stick. This will. Oh, it almost did. I want to find. Stop throwing my clothes. Yeah. Sam's first experience driving in Australia was in, in Melbourne. middle of Melbourne. because there was gold here and said that the gold was driving the figures insane prior. Originally we started off with nine buildings here. By the time we finished 167 years later we had 63 buildings here and over 2,000 patients on site, about 500 staff. It was designed along Victorian lunatic theory at the time, which is first of all keeping the gender separate. So that's the female hospital there. This is the male hospital here. The superintendent, so the doctors lives here, and the superintendent who ran the asylum with his family living in this building here. We'll go and have a look in there. We have arrived at the penitentiary. Kirkland Bright asylums were beautiful at the front, like they are, and we would keep our best quality patients at the front, and the asylum generally deteriorated with conditions you get right down to the back wards and we get the most of your cases right in the back. We'll keep going through. Hello fellow straggler. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> uh, if you were behaving yourself in the asylum system, generally you would spend your evenings sleeping up in the wards and working out in the farms and workshops outside. If you were misbehaving then you had to be isolated and you were put into the solitary isolation cells over here. It's all half an inch thick. Um, as you go around tonight, you can look on the insides of the cells, you'll see that each of them have got gouge marks, teeth marks and stuff. There's nothing in there that they're not allowed in there with any kind of tool to make an imprint on the back of hardwood like that. So if it's there, it's been dug out with fingers and teeth. Um, yeah, there's teeth marks all over this door. So just here. Mm -hmm. And here, 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 here. They weren't good teeth, you can kind of see where they've worn down. But teeth marks, yeah. It's really sad. This one's the saddest. That has been made by doing that. And feel how deep it is. Far out. Fucking horrible. Do you feel the energy in here? Oh yeah. It just makes me really sad. Yeah. We're just doing our first walkthrough. And I don't know if anybody else is picking up on the energy. I like said it to the lady um, who was taking me through. But just this area just made me want to tear up. Like it made me really sad. And it's funny. Like when they say that it's like the female 
area because you can feel it. Like I feel the feminine energy. Like not in like a feminine energy way. Like it just feels really sad in a familial way. Um, yeah. And she said it's not unusual for people to feel like they want to cry here. I don't know if they were, the boys were picking up on that, but I just, I am. It's really overwhelmingly sad feeling. When we first started, it took a while to get into that headspace. And so I'm walking around, locking up at night time after telling ghost stories all night and locking through, it's a bit creepy going through the wards. But I would get here and nah, I would have to lock this building up from the outside for, I reckon, maybe two or three months until I got my head into the space that's safe to come in. We just came into the uh, morgue and I literally have shit running down my spine. This shit's scary. He's scared. I know full and well it's not gonna feel peaceful in like an hour's time. And now it's really beautiful. It's really pretty. have just gone into the morgue um, and I'm just trying to figure out what I kind of want to get out of the evening. I don't know if I want to vlog totally separately um, and go off on my own kind of little adventure. The lady, the tour guide was saying that like there are some areas that are kind of like drawn to it, like a female presence. So maybe they will want me to help out there. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. Can I get you to repeat that one more time? So this is called the Ovilus. It is an electronic dictionary. It's got thousands of words in its word bank. And we just have a diction around. Yes, absolutely. Do we have a male patient with us? Is that female? Is it? I actually think, yeah, that's a female. We have a female with us. Can you just... Con no. <laughs> okay, so no, we got that wrong. It's actually a man. Oh, yep, apologies. We got that wrong. And he's gone. Sorry. <laughs> you just said I'm not a girl. <laughs> he's like, how, how dare you miss me? How dare you? That was crazy. That was, that was really big. Cool. Are you male? I do have over here. It was Someone's copied down a flight of stairs. Walter! Walter! Hey, hi, Walter. Walter. I was just about to say the same thing. Lovely. I was like, oh, hi, Walter. Hello. Yes, hi. Walter, are you the one chatting with us right now? Can you confirm once for yes, twice for no? For a long time. Mm -hmm. Do you class long <clears throat> to be more than 10 years? No. Do you class a long time to be more than five years? Yes. Okay. So between Is five to two? 10 years. That was one. Bye. 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 
Sometimes it's just short. So we're on our way to the men's infirmary, which is apparently the place that has the most activity. Um, and it's, according to our guide, the scariest part. I didn't realize it until you, until we got here, but this is the place that the boys said that they found the worst as well last time. Did someone hear uh, someone other than the bear? Yeah, I heard hello. I heard, I thought you were talking to someone on the phone. I thought I heard Lana's voice. Yeah, same. I thought you were talking to Lana on the phone just now. So did you hear her? Yeah. Name? We have just set up in the men's infirmary. We have been sitting over here. The ball's going off. Did you hear me? I just heard like a quick shot of the door and then that ball went off. It's still going off. And then something's tapping at the That one. Um, things went up in there. Oh, the airman. His touch sensor just went off. There's a theory that spirits exist on some kind of an electrical level. Mm. And if you think about that, a brain operates on an electrical level. Who's to say they can't intercept our thoughts? Can you walk up here, please? Can you not? How are you playing my tummy? God, my gut just flipped. I thought we were just a thing. <laughs> Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. No, it's just me. shaking in this building and it's not because I'm scared of a cop and also um, and then I heard a grudge noise while they were doing an intro to the video and then we heard the grudge noise again and everyone heard it and the last thing you want the person who works here for five years to say is that's a new one <sighs> oh, oh, no. yeah. oh, oh my god I woke up and he was like there's a demon I was like oh how do you wake up so beautiful 
thanks. I tapped you on the shoulder. You're like curled up in a ball with a heater on your forehead. And I'm like, we just saw like a 15 foot shadow person in the doorway. And then I was like, you can go back to sleep if you want. And you're like, I can't. <laughs> thanks. Yep. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay. Yeah. I'm not joking. Do you want to do it instead, babe? You can hand it off to you. You can, yeah. You know. Juicy, don't pass it off. I'll come get you, Juicy. <laughs> I know you will, narrator. I got you, bro. Can you blow me a kiss? I'm right here. <laughs> hey, can you blow me a kiss, too? <laughs> come on, what if I fucking die? And the last kiss I have is narrator's in my pocket. That wouldn't be the worst thing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, I don't know why, but I've been, like, fighting off vomiting since approaching this building, like, the oh, whole time. Oh, alright. So I'm a little preoccupied. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to be sick. If I do need to be sick, where is the bed? Just not on the carpet, for the love of God, because okay. it's so hard to get out. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a sink right yeah. here. Yeah. I didn't want to interrupt you guys when you were talking, but while you guys were doing the intro, I literally heard a you can't type say of noise that. from you can't upstairs. Say that. You can't fucking say that, dude. I've, I've and seen he went first. Yeah. I've seen the movies. I know what comes out, what creature little lady comes out of TV when you hear that. Yeah, I'm not joking. Uh, 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 like, I'm actually not joking. I was like... That's that's crazy. So what you're saying is you're gonna try it next? No. Okay. <laughs> was that like a sarcastic scream or was that a real scream? I don't know. It would be more high-pitched if it was real. Okay. Like a little girl. Okay, cool. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I told, I told you! What was that? I literally told you! The f*** was that? The f*** was I that? Told I told so you, that's man. what I heard. Dude, I'm getting ready to f fight. Because you, you don't growl? know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, we got like yeah. the grudge sound. Like, uh. Yeah. When we were filming the intro. What? Show up to the videos for my fans. Something was right there. That was insane. Is that why you actually yeah. ran all the way to the back? Yep, yeah. yeah. okay. And left his girl there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you guys have fun tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's 5 a.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it actually is exactly 5 a.m. 5 a.m. and we saw a 12 foot giant man basketball player. So, I did the stanky leg. And we saw some great dancers. We farted in church. It's true. Everything Sam you could possibly church. imagine. We I did it! We got it. Sam and Colby on a video. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, it turned out, and it turned out to be the craziest footage we've ever got. I was about to say good night, but it's not good night. It's literally 7 a.m. right now. It's a bad night. It's a bad, bad night. Okay, so to wrap up the night, what what I what ended up happening? This is gonna sound crazy, but we were in the superintendent's office, mm -hmm. sitting right where he killed himself. Sorry, yep. let me say it again. Sitting right where he unalived himself. Thank you. All the boys, Sam, Colby. Sam's doing the Estes method, getting a lot of direct responses. Yeah. Narrator was doing the stanky leg previously during that night. And apparently the ghost loved it. So, we're in this room. One ghost says, Grant, literally says this, Grant, get up, dance. We all pogged because we're like, holy shit, this ghost just directly asked Narrator to get up and do the stanky leg. Mm -hmm. Narrator stands in the middle of this room where this guy tragically took his own life and he uh, starts doing the stanky leg. And he, he makes the stankiest leg. It was foul. It was a wretched leg shortly after. Sam is talking, and he's telling us to look in the hallway because there's someone who wants to hurt us. Dose turns around, starts filming out the crack of the door, and films a entire ass demon just standing there, walking clear as day. It's the crazy thing we ever filmed. It's like a weird not. It doesn't make sense. Like the actual. Yeah. Footage. It's like a giant pair of legs, pretty much. Like a f huge Slenderman esque creature walking, not like in the distance for one frame, but like walking across the doorway. Meanwhile, I'm downstairs directly below, <laughs> asleep on a squishmallow. I was hidden underneath a coat and I heard everyone start screaming and like running around. And I'm like, nah, they're just doing it for content. Like, it's just something like funny, it's a joke. There's nothing actually happening. So then I went me, 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 me. and went back to sleep. And then like 20 minutes later, I hear this man saying, Liv, wake up. You gotta wake up. There's a demon. 
There's a demon. And there was a demon. So then from that point, Dose is absolutely out of it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna join you guys for the rest of, you know, the evening. I go to the toilet. I'm like, damn, I should pee before I go on the rest of this investigation. I'm sitting on the toilet. Dose is so out of it from seeing a demon. He just pushes the door in. He looks at me in the eyes. I look at him in the eyes. as so I'm like, <laughs> sitting on the toilet. And then... <laughs> And then I laugh. I just go, <laughs> and then he goes, uh, and like just walks away. You gotta look at it from his point yeah. of view. From his point of view, he watched an do the stanky leg and literally with his own eyes, not even the camera, watched a f-ing demon walk across the room. It was, it was a mentally broken man. He just wants to go man. and sit on the toilet and zone out. He forgets that the door is like not has working no and has no locks and he's just like, oh, I have to sit yeah. on the toilet. And I'm like the one person that he like wouldn't want to walk in on the toilet on that shoe. He just, yeah. And then after that, we end up going to, what's, what's the place? It's your mom's house. <laughs> it's where the staff used to, it's like the staff room. Yeah. But before it was a staff room, it was a... It was oh, an Applebee's. It was a Walmart. It was, yeah, it was a Walmart before it was the staff room. <laughs> before it was that, though, funnily enough, it was the crematorium. They turned the crematorium into where the staff lives. <sighs> so at this specific asylum, there was huge outbreaks of typhoid. And at the time, they thought it was such a like disgusting, rapid disease that you couldn't even bury people that had it because they could poison the earth or infect things. So they would forcefully cremate everyone. Didn't matter your religion. If you didn't want to be cremated. If you didn't want to be cremated, if it was against your religion and God, they just cremated you. So lots of angry spirits. Yup, lots of angry spirits. But then as soon as we're approaching this building, I like feel so incredibly sick that I was like, okay, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Like, I was like, no, yeah. like, I'm, I'm not. You're joking. like, I might go off and throw Yeah, I'm like, quick. I don't know if I can go in the building. Like, I feel like I'm going to be sick. And it didn't go away for the whole, like, what, 45 minutes or so yeah. that we are in there. And, yeah, as soon as we approached the building, so incredibly nauseous. Felt like I was going to throw up. And then, and shaky. Like, I was doing, like, I was like this. And I was not cold. I wasn't trying to shake. Like, I wasn't scared or anything. And then, as the boys are doing their intro for um, like the next segment where they're meant to like walk down this really like f***ed up hallway. They're talking and I go and sit on the stairs and right above the stairwell, like above my head, I literally hear uh, like the f***ing grudge noise, like above my head. And I'm like, I was like, okay, I don't want to interrupt the intro because the camera definitely didn't pick up like the noise and it's just going to be me being like, I heard a scary noise. So I was like, ah. so I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. It's fine. I'll tell them. I'll tell them later. And I told them like after they'd done the intro that I heard that noise, and they were like, oh, that's really. F-. But then like ten minutes later, um, Josh is going up to be the first person to walk down the hallway, and as he's like on the other side of the hallway, directly above us, where he's like no longer there, like nothing is there at all. We start hearing like banging and walking around. And that noise starts again. Yeah. This time though, everyone, everyone heard hears it. it. And it's really loud and everyone's like, In, uh, surely not. Yeah. Including the, the lady, the guide, which for the most part, the guides stay away from us. But uh, in this instance, she was nearby because they, for safety reasons, have to be nearby in to some extent, right? Because the place is dangerous. It's yeah. huge too. So if you got like up if you had to search the whole place it'd probably take you about half an hour yeah to fine. run through it if yeah. you wanted to look everywhere and she heard it she looked very concerned and she said normally she is pretty familiar with every noise we've been there twice yeah this time she looked concerned and said i've never heard that before which is and the last thing you want to hear her say yeah and then as you guys were doing like each different person across she was like i want to leave yeah she was like i don't feel good anymore like i as soon as this is done like we should we should yeah. go which is really scary for them because they never say that yeah so i was like <sighs> and then everyone farted in the church at the end the end happily ever after everyone farted and then we did the stanky leg together 
Yeah, and that was it. I hope you liked the story. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>